But it was just like, maybe it would have been better had I just kept my mouth shut, you know, and carried on. Mm. You know, just in terms of hurting two people that I love the most in the world, you know? Adele is leaving no note unsung. The superstar opened up about the personal upheaval that inspired her first new music in six years, telling Oprah in an exclusive CBS sit-down that aired Sunday night about channeling the emotions of her divorce through music. My, my friends always would say, hold on, when I would feel like how I'm, you know, the lyrics in the verse. Mm -hmm. But it was just exhausting trying to, 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 to like, keep going with it. It's a process, you know, the process of, of a divorce, the process of, you know, being a single parent, the process of not seeing your child every single day wasn't really a plan mm -hmm. that I had when I, you know, when I, had, when mm -hmm. I became a mum. Adele and Oprah's chat aired alongside a star-studded concert at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, where the icon delivered not only her classics, but also fresh tracks from her anticipated album 30, dropping November 19th. The LP is centered on the challenges Adele faced when going through her split from now ex-husband Simon Konecki. The pair shares nine-year-old son Angelo, and the singer admitted that she did the best she could to keep her family together and still struggles with having had to put herself first. I'm still not fully over it of me choosing to dismantle my child's life for my own mm -hmm. makes me very uncomfortable. You still feel guilt? I don't feel guilt. I just feel somewhat selfish sometimes. But like, I, I know that I'm, I'm nearing my goal of like finding my happiness. Like, you know, and it's mm -hmm. been no one ever makes me do anything I don't want. And it was just like, but I was really ignoring myself. The 33-year-old recalled being, quote, obsessed with the idea of a nuclear family from a young age and that Simon and their son, Angelo, gave her a sense of stability that she believes prevented her from falling down a dangerous path. But when she realized she wasn't happy, the decision, though difficult, was clear. Despite their marriage not working out, Adele revealed that she and Simon are not only still friends and committed co-parents, but they live across the street from one another and she still trusts him with her life. I think Simon probably saved my life, to be honest with you. He came at such a moment, whereas the stability that him and Angelo have given me, no one else would ever have been able to give me. Like, especially at that time in my life, I was so young. And I just, I think I would have got a bit lost in all of it. Like, you know, and I think I probably, I could have easily gone down some dodgy paths, like, you know, and sort of self-destructed from, from sort of like being so overwhelmed by all of it. And he, he came in and was stable. The most stable person I've ever had in my life up until that point. Even, you know, even now I trust him with my life. Really? Oh my gosh, like beyond. Like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, him and Angelo, like they were angels sent to me, that's how I feel. The Oscar winner said 30 is about herself, but is dedicated to Angelo so he can learn who his famous mother really is. Adele admitted that the youngster had never seen her perform before welcoming him to the one night only show, and that's not the only new chapter she's opened. In recent months, the songstress found love with sports agent Rich Paul and told Oprah that she also got closure from old childhood wounds upon reconciling with her father before he died earlier this year.